Well, there's a couple reasons. Number one, high demand in the industry for automotive technicians. We have a, a number of people that have called us in the last uh, couple months looking for technicians and we don't have enough bodies to fill the spaces. So it's a, a career that, uh, that needs people and we have excellent instructors. We have an excellent staff and they do their very best to instruct uh, all of our students in uh, all areas of the automotive trade. One of the things that the college offers is uh, just an excellent uh, completion rate and excellent, um, excellent final scores when it comes to the government board exams. We do our very best and I'm sure other colleges do as well, but we pride ourselves in working very hard to give our students an excellent career, uh, an excellent start to their career as well, and also uh, just uh, high success rates on the CFQ. We have modernized shops that we've worked really hard to uh, create a modern learning environment so that it feels very much like working at a dealership or on the shop floor. There are some careers that our students are going to, uh, they come to us because they are automotive apprentices in some cases. Other careers that we have though is you could uh, take a one or a two year course directly out of high school or even second chance careers or second uh, career options and that opens up the door to multiple things inside the uh, transportation industry. You could do something, uh, parts for example, you could be a service writer, uh, you could even work for an insurance company doing appraisals. There's lots and lots of avenues. It's not, it's not one small area that you can fit in. Anything transportation based, because we don't just do automotive, we do heavy equipment, we do truck and coach, and we also do uh, bike and boat, so there's multiple options. Yes. Well, our logo, if you can see behind me here on the banner, says what you do in here counts out there, and that's our motto. We, uh, we don't have courses put together just to bring students in and give them nothing in return. Our courses are designed around real world situations so that when they leave our college, they're well prepped and we get excellent feedback from our employers that, that deal with us in what we call a PAC committee, a program advisory committee. Excellent feedback on the, uh, the quality of our students. We pride ourselves in doing our very best for them. Being a graduate of Conestoga myself, I can't tell you what other colleges do, but I'll say one thing, that we follow industry very closely. We are very much in tune with what's happening out in uh, the shops and uh, in industry, and we try to mirror that. And if we find that we are not fulfilling a need, we alter our, our uh, curriculum, alter our expectations, so that we meet curriculum uh, demands and industry demands. That way I think that we get a, a better student, the student has a better experience, and what's the main goal of education? If, if you can't use it directly out of school, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So we try to uh, make sure that our students are well prepared. When they leave our doors, they can go right into a place and work. And I think that's our, our motto. I think you're going to get that with all programs, absolutely. You're going to get students that uh, come in and go, this isn't what I envisioned it to be. Uh, some people, it's, uh, it's general interest. And they, they think about it for a while. And they're like, this would be OK as just something I did on the side as a hobby, but not as a career. But more and more I have students come in and go, wow, there's way more involved than what I thought. This is a really interesting career, lots of high-tech information, uh, and they're actually surprised by what technicians have to know.